So the newest project that I'm going to be tackling is outfitting my new 2015 Honda Fit for towing a trailer. And what you see here is all of the wiring necessary to facilitate that. I have already installed a class one hitch onto the vehicle. It was a direct bolt on from eTrailer.com. It's a Kurt trailer uh, brand and it was very easy to install and took me about 30 minutes. Now I want to do the wiring part of it. Now the wiring and I could just do the bare minimum and just do a four pole flat connector to do the, the turn signals, brake lights and running lamps. But since I will be hauling a five by eight utility trailer, uh, gross vehicle weight will be under uh, 2000 pounds for the trailer. But uh, I don't want to be adding any extra stress to the uh, Honda Fit's uh, braking system. And I will be installing trailer brakes on that trailer. And I'm going to need a brake controller system on the Honda Fit to operate that. I've already uh, made a lot of pre-connections uh, pre already. Uh, we'll start with the uh, light kit. This is the universal light kit that uh, you can get from eTrailer.com. I'll link in the, into the description of all the various part numbers if, if anyone's interested in doing this project for themselves. Uh, it's essentially its own powered unit off of a 15 amp fuse and uh, it goes to a four pole flat, uh, flat connector to out to the trailer. And it, you basically use the signals from, you will have to use those quick splice to a, uh, connectors. Uh, these uh, wires are signals that when the lights turn on, this unit knows to turn on from its own powered bus out to the uh, four pole flat connector. Now I want reverse lights uh, ability as well, but since this doesn't have that ability, I had to improvise. I got a s small $12 kit from a four pole flat connector to a five pole flat connector, which adds the reverse light uh, in this blue wire. This blue wire is loose, so I ran it and attached it to the existing harness. And since uh, I don't want to directly tap into that circuit within the Honda Fit, uh, I've got another one of those 40 amp single pole, single throw relays. Uh, got some other, uh, uh, some of those wire splicer uh, pieces. And here we basically have here uh, your ground. You have a green wire for the signal, which will be connected to the reverse light spliced in. The blue wire goes out to the flat connector and then the red wire. So when this coil energizes, it completes the circuit between the, the red and the blue wires and turns on the reverse lights. So the next part I'm gonna tackle here is the uh, electric brake controller. Uh, I got it from Kurt, uh, is the name of the brand. It's a uh, time delay based uh, controller. It is not a proportional. Proportional is better in the in the case that it won't, uh, uh, it's more or less user friendly and you don't have to really do any type of setting uh, that's too difficult and it will uh, keep your brakes a little bit more evenly worn. Uh, but a time delay based uh, controller is more than enough for my purposes. Uh, so that was fairly inexpensive. It was about $45. I got a pigtail to connect uh, from the this end to this end. And then this will go into the vehicle's harness again with those quick splice connectors. This takes a 30 amp uh, fuse. And over here is uh, the seven pole round connector. And it's actually a combination. It's not only a seven pole, but I can also do... Uh, a flat uh, five pole connector uh, if I don't have trailer brakes or I can just use the flat four pole connector without uh, um, having to get an adapter. It's all built into the uh, the plug already. Uh, I've already wired this in. We have the, uh, this is all 10 gauge wire here. This has actually has two wires inside, a black and a white. Black wire will be the hot uh, power lead uh, with a 40 amp circuit breaker up near the uh, the car's battery. The white wire is actually for the brake controller that will run up to the front of the car and then through the cabin into the cabin and connect to the blue wire on the brake controller. And while this is blue, uh, this is actually the white ground wire. This will just go directly to the uh, frame. Now the Honda Fit, at least here in the United States, does not, I looked, it does not have any uh, grommets that goes from the inside of the vehicle to the outside of the vehicle without having to drill. I'm not really looking to drill. Uh, this unit will be uh, hidden inside the uh, the cargo area somewhere. This wire will be inside their, the uh, spare tire wheel well when it's not in use. So what I will do uh, anytime I do need to tow, which is not too often, but often enough, uh, I will, uh, I've got the five pole flat connector. This will be on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, it's a five, another five pole flat connector. 
take this wire and this wire and attach it together and then this uh, uh, seven pole round connector will be fully functional and ready to use uh, the trailer that I have uh, planning to buy is a 5x8 utility trailer uh, I think Belmont is the name of the manufacturer and it will have a seven pole round connector complete with trailer brakes and uh, lighting uh, necessary for DOT um, uh, compliance. So that's the overview of all the parts that I need to get this fully uh, tow, uh, tow ready. And uh, again, I think that uh, this will be a very nice uh, addition to the vehicle. Again, I don't plan on to be hauling any more than 2,000 pounds. It's not rated for that. And when you're towing, you just got to tow smart. And with the addition of the electric trailer brakes controller, uh, it will prevent the Honda Fit's uh, brakes from being overstressed from hauling the extra weight behind it. So the next video will be uh, the installation of these parts. Likely I'll start off with the light kit first and then move on to the trailer brake, uh, well, or at least the seven pole round connector here. This needs to be routed underneath the car uh, away from any significant heat or any moving parts. And uh, we'll go from there.